Alright, so I've got six decks from the 2004 OCG format constructed ready to launch in. We're gonna play Deck Roulette. We're gonna just cycle through all these decks. We're gonna try to win one game with each of them. And we're just gonna play till I get bored. That may be never. That may be until the event ends. What are we gonna queue up first? I think the first deck I wanna queue up is uh, the one that me and Simo brewed up together to cook everybody for the event. This is the Panda Burn list that we ended up cooking. Uh, I played in a little invitational with Steve Kangas and Farfa, a couple of his friends, and uh, I ended up taking everybody down in matches with this. Uh, I'm hoping that it'll do just as good on the uh, on the dual trial event. Gameplay strategies for this is it does like to tussle a little bit with Gyaku Guy or Panda. This card gains 500 attack for each monster opponent's side of the field. You can pair that with a card like Ojama Trio, giving your opponents three more monsters to give him 1500 attack, and he does piercing through the Ojama tokens. You play a lot of the most efficient burn cards like Just Desserts, Secret Barrel, so incrementally get at your opponent's life points, hopefully to clean them up with the panda himself. Your opponent plays Royal Decree? That's a little scary. You know what else is terrifying? Giant Trunating their whole hand back and then flipping a Dez Koala. This deck even just has legs on its own, right? Giant Rat can get you to some toolbox like Injection Fairy Lily. Or it can just get you to the Gyaku Gyre Panda if your opponent's not careful. Again, pairing that with Ojama Trio, that's a lot of damage right away. Super notably, this deck plays under Gravity Bind and Level Limit Area B as well. All affecting level 4 monsters, our mainstay of the deck is level 3. I think getting a win with this one should be pretty quick. Alright, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 5? Oh, that's a great hand. And also, the 1 for turn. Don't mind if I do. Oh, Desla Koala there. He's a handsome guy. Hungry he is. Inflict 400 damage to your opponent for each card in their hand. Most opponents don't even respect the koala. He'll be running in with four cards in his hand, I'm certain. Let's give our opponent a blind sense of security. Let's set the secret barrel, which can be chained right away, as well as the Ojama Trio. I can even set the gravity bind, but I want him to attack, bro. I Please try me, please. All right, what are we up against here? We'll decide from our first action of the opponent. I'm hoping not a loner. I was beating up on a lot of loner decks last night. Blade Knight! Uh, summon is fine. He's gonna be very upset when he attacks into my 1800 defense point monster. Like I said, setting cards before the battle phase? Unheard of. You'll be taking a couple extra damage points there, duelist. 2k to be exact. That's a fourth of his life points. Just go to the next turn here. I'll be drawn Ooh, into the just desserts, pairing perfectly well with the Ojama Trio. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of extra back row back here. Unless he pro set Heavy Storm on me, his duel is as good as over. Tribute summon? What do you got? Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Wait! <laughs> wait! This was not supposed to happen! Yes! Never mind! Never punished, bro! Deck doesn't even lose to Jinzo. Please don't let that be anything that stops us. Don't let it be Book of Moon. Pray for no Book of Moon. Yes! Okay, we Alright. <laughs> Everything's okay. Everything is okay. All right. Simply better? I, yo, see, the one thing my opponent didn't account for is I have the heart of the cards on my side. Banishing a light in the dark, you say, bro. Uh, Gravity Bind looks mighty nasty against your Black Luster Soldier. Sure. Yeah, okay. He's going all in here, bro. Um, we'll let him go to the battle phase, and I will ruin his entire life. Now, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Let it happen. Come here. I know, 3,000. Yeah, you you are a silly goose guy. All right, we'll go Chain Link 1, Magical Cylinder, negating the attack. I will activate Chain Link 2, Secret Barrel, going into Chain Link 3, bro. You might have learned this from Progression Series before. Chain Link 3, Ogama Trio, into the Chain Link 4. I fucked it up. Uh, no! Ah! Uh, it's fine! It is but fine. I will just not activate the just desserts. Please, please, hold the applause. I'll let this all go through. Eighteen. Little bit of 3k damage. The attacks negated. And when he attempts to leave the battle phase, we'll be eaten just desserts. All calculated. Perfectly played, by the way. You would say that an expert even handled that better. It would have been exact, see? But I went for the BM. I'm just better. I'm just different. That's the first deck we played, by the way. Oh. It's a quick patch? Okay, okay, wait. It's tiny, don't worry about it. Okay, I, bro, I, I didn't want to be done for the night. I just started having fun. I was going to be very upset. All right, that's another one down. This one, 
I don't know how I feel about this as a one. This is a stinker deck. This is Pac-Man, which Pac-Man is not a deck built by Pac, as some would think. What does it mean again, chat? Anybody in chat? Can you tell me again? I think it means perpetual pure there we go somebody said thank god somebody reminded me bro alex simo i think is the only one that's internalized this term pac-man stands for pure advantage camel munches all moves what is that camel it's the des lakuda once per turn you can change this card face down defense position and if it flips summon draw a card a lot of the other cards in this deck focus around that strategy swarm of locusts does the same thing but pop spells or traps scarabs pops monsters golem sentry returns monsters to hand and stealth bird does burn damage we're going to focus on slowing down the game state with cards like Level Limit Area B and Gravity Bind, Wall of Revealing Light, Threatening Roar, and the such. And we're going to focus on doing 8,000 burn damage with Stealth Bird over the course of X amount of turns, right? Only thing I don't like about this list is it actually doesn't have a third L Lab. I feel like that's pretty important. I'm going to fix that. I'm going to cut one of the Golem Sentries for Level Limit. Third one seems pretty good. Uh, this should be good enough to uh, send it into battle. See how it plays. All right, what do we got in our opener? <laughs> but not much to do. Uh, looks like the game will be slowed down. What we do in the next few turns, though, uh, we'll find out together. Draw! Threatening Roar. Whole bunch of nothing going on with this hand, let me tell you. I'm gonna just set the Gravity Bind. Seems like the most, like, ubiquitous way to, like, stall the game a bit. Nothing at all! Oh my goodness, bro. Alright, Camel. Okay, Golem Sentry. I mean, that's not bad. Oh! <gasps> Oh man, soul exchange. Oh my god, if I get Mobius, that would be devastating. What just happened? What? Wait, do, does soul exchange, can it last more than a turn? Does he get to use soul exchange still? If he does, I'm, I might shit a brick. I might just shit a brick. Lord of D. <laughs> okay, yeah. Going to the battle phase, I'll just activate the gravity bind. I'll slow him down even further here. Keep the golem sentry so we can just bounce it back. All right. Oh, finally. Okay. Me being the greediest guy on Master Duel, I'll take two more additional cards. Hopefully I find, like, the Lakuta and stuff now, right? No, why would I, right? Where are my cards? I'm gonna Golem Sentry back his Lord of D. We'll reset the Sentry. I, I didn't even attack. You know what? Power move. I don't need to attack. At least we can start controlling the game here, right? Let's Golem Sentry back his opponent's monster. Just like Alex Simo, bro. We'll see you next time. Skilled White Magician. Oh my god, I didn't know Joseph was in this format. Oh no! Why'd you take that one? Dude, that's a level four! You know what each one are, why would you do that? Does he have the Heavy Storm to take care of the Gravity Bind? Is this guy secretly the greatest we've ever seen? He could have taken the Swarm and popped the Gravity Bind! Foolish! I hope you realized that wasn't the most efficient play you could make. I'll be taking my Golem Sentry back. Thank you, Duelist. And I still haven't seen the fucking camel. Where is he? Just gonna reset him another turn there and put in another 1,000 with the Swarm of the Locusts. Pow. Alright, skilled white magician. You did so much last time. Is he going to concede yet? Has he realized that his deck can't be Gravity Bind? It has not been able to be Gravity Bind for the last 16 turns. Okay, he had enough. <laughs> he had an... He, our poor opponent had enough. Right, so this is the zombie deck that we have. This is the one that I'm, like, least confident about. Cool thing about this one is Goblin Zombie is legal in this 2004 format. Cards like Marshmallow and this caught me off guard because this didn't come out until Phantom Darkness. And Marshmallow was, like, a premium pack card. Um, having them legal in this type of format is good. They're both at three, and they actually, I think, make some, like, archetypes possible. This one in particular gives you another pull off of Pyramid Turtle. And then all of these end up being just good tribute fodder for Ryukoki or Mobius the Frost Monarch. You're the Reborns with Book of Life, and uh, Vampire Lord's even just not bad at one. The main gimmick of this deck is that if I'm able to stick a floater on the board, like Pyramid Turtle or something, hopefully I can creature swap it to my, my opponent for an even bigger and badder guy, and then attack into my own turtle, and then get uh, Vampire Lord out the deck. It's fun. I like it. So let's see if it works out. Alright, what are we rocking with? Really solid opener turn. The Giant Rat. This will get us to Pyramid Turtle. And then Pyramid Turtle gets us to everything else. Only one back row. Mmm, Duelist. I am sorry to tell you that that one back row will not be enough to keep you alive. Big Boy Rat, 14. Didn't even have to think twice about it. 
I'll set the dust. If it is dust, he can dust my dust. Do I set the Saku? No, I want him to attack my rat. Might as well have been a dust tornado. And the one MST down? Absolutely, bro. No zombies left for these Book of Lies, bro. I can't even get studying. Just wait until I see one zombie, though, bro. I'll be getting all the accelerated reader points. I could activate the Heavy Storm here to sink another 14. What if I just wait? Uh, let's just wait a turn, you know? Let's give our opponent a little bit of uh, a chance to do something. How many books are we on? Two of the Book of Lives. Just pass the turn. All right. Don't mind if I do. God, that's so useless. <laughs> I had to learn quick plays needed to rest after putting them on. I was just talking to somebody the other day that told me they thought they could activate quick plays from their hand on either player's turn. Unbelievable, bro. Could you imagine a, a, a MST hand trap during, like, Pendulum Era? Oh, now this guy's gonna regret ever letting me hold on to this heavy storm. You're not gonna put any more cards down? I get it, bro. Let me clean them up for you. That is so mean! Waboku! Power move. I'll set the Saku, even though it's not, like, super useful. Uh, I don't actually want him to attack into both of them. But now I'm worried. I just waste. I just wasted a heavy storm, pretty much. Oh my god. Oh my god. This guy's stream sniping. He for sure is, bro. You mean to tell me you waited four turns to put another card in your back row? Come on, son. Come on. Metal reflect slime. Metal reflect slime. Isn't this one of the starters, chat? Does anybody know? Isn't this one of the loner decks that they give you? 3,000 defense. I'll say it's pretty big, bro. Shield and sword it. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to get rid of the Reaper, right? Ooh, that's a banger. Now I can just wait for my opponent to commit, like, one more card to the board. I think just set the Torrential. I'm going to let him commit another card. We'll play it patient. I'm just waiting. I, I still don't understand the end game of our opponent's deck yet. I and I don't know if this back row is real or not. That's That could be unfortunate. I mean, it would be great if he ends up just summoning another card, though, and we just wipe him away with Torrential. Pretty good he would waste something there. Oh my god. I kind of can't lose any of these cards, so I'm forced to like Torrential here. Oh, I had Saku. That was a waste. That was a waste. It's fine. Now he has a monster in the graveyard, though. He's got a Spear Reaper. So we can actually make some plays here. We're, we're, we're chilling now. That's like what I needed. Finally, I got a guy. We're going to start with the Exiled Force. I am just going to pop this back row. Let's get in there, bro. You got a Solemn? You want to Solemn my Exiled Force? Oh, hey, man. No priority? Why must it be this way? Ah, uh, He's really protecting this face-down monster, then. What do I think it is? We just saw Spear Reaper. Is it like Magician of Faith? It can't be that good, right? Uh, it's not strong enough for me to, like, use this Book of Life already. Let's just hold on to it for a turn. Let's just see what it is. Oh, oh my god, it was Magician of Faith. See, sometimes you're just right. Sometimes you just know. Pick it back up, Shield Crush. That's all we're doing. Wow, okay. Okay, well, okay. I feel a lot better moving into some other plays here. So let's draw for turn. Oh, the Ryu Kaki. So let's just go pre-mat. Let's launch it. I'm going to pick back up the Exiled Force. Okay. If this summon sticks, we are going to pop this other face down. Nice. Old Vindictive. Maybe like Book of Moon. Like, like maybe he's like super comfortable flipping this card because it's Book of Moon back here. Snipe a back row, I dare you. Well, no, now I have a read that it's like probably MST or like Solemn or something like that. So I think we're doing okay here. Let's go Book of Life. We're going to banish his Spear Reaper and I'm going to summon my own. So we're in actually a pretty advantageous position. We're going to hit the Pyramid Turtle in. That's going to force out Book of Moon. If it is Book of Moon, he adds a spell back, and we have the 50% chance to hit it, which is pretty good. Oh, if it is a read of Saku, I'm going to get 50-50 for it. No! Yay! The reads! We're crazy, bro. Rusbear, thanks for the, uh, the raid. Appreciate it. Setting my Pyramid Turtle. Do you have another Book of Moon, sir? What is that other one, then? Why? You know this thing's going to die. All right, now show me the other Book of Moon, then. If not, they just, they're button heads. Oh, world's strongest 
Magician of Faith. Well, I don't even know what this back row is here anymore. I have no idea. But our opponent's down to one card. We're very up on advantage. We have a Pyramid Turtle set. Good luck, dude. Wow, he had the combo. My man is playing Shield Crush and Nobleman of Cross Out. This dude hates face down monsters. All right. I'm going to just end phase dust to this card. I got to I got to believe that it's a real thing. So let's just let's just pop it. Creature swap. Not today. Hey, that's my card. Oh, and the magical warrior off the top. Don't mind if I do. Summon. All right, let's just take care of it. Whatever it is, I want it out of my sight. Call of the Haunted, not good enough, man. All right, bro. I'm coming for the face. Zero cards. Oh, man, you better be praying to Yami Yugi. Is this basically go? It's like OCG go. There's slight changes. Things like Sangin, Mirror Force, they're not legal. That was an easy win. The zombies. I feel like we didn't even play it efficiently. I feel like we could have even played this better. All right. Zombie deck worked out pretty solid. What's next? What's next? This build is like a shell of what is currently the best deck of GOAT format. A lot of people say Chaos Turbo is the best deck that you can possibly play in GOAT format right now. Most matches in GOAT ladder and stuff comp is comprised of these mirror matches. And it's a fun mirror match. There's a lot of counterplay to it. And acknowledging that Trinity is a real thing has morphed a lot of deck building theory around it. Cards like Thunder Dragon uh, and Jar of Greed, Upstart Goblin, these would all be really good into something like Delinquent Duo. Uh, and also, these are also fantastic cards with Graceful Charity. Unfortunately, they're not legal in this version, right? Graceful is not legal, and uh, Delinquent Duo is not even craftable in the game. And there's a lot to be desired. The Infinite Discard with two A Night Assailants doesn't work anymore because it can't add itself, and Sinister Serpent is just genuinely unplayable. So, like, finding these incredible one-ofs through turboing out your deck is not as something that is as good in this one. We're mainly just looking to fill up our graveyard with lights and darks and then summon the power cards, Chaos Sorcerer and BLS. These are great cards on their own, but you also have to consider that ignition priority does not exist in this game anymore. That is a thing of the past. Being able to ensure value off of cards like Sork and BLS, sometimes they just get eaten up by a bottomless trap hole or a ring of destruction. You feel a little silly. After building multiple other decks in this format around the Master Duel rules, I think we've come to the conclusion that this isn't the best deck, but let's see where we can put it. Let's give it a game. All right, we get to go first. Hopefully, watch, watch. Better luck this time, bro. What is this pet? What is that? Oh, this guy's name is crazy, by the way. <laughs> Draw for turn. Couple of flip effect monsters. All right, we got options. Nobleman of Cross Out. Terrifying card. These are all flips. I think I'm okay with losing to Koichi first, though. Um, I don't mind sending the Rancho. Throw it down there. See what you got, Duelist. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty good for me. Nice little warrior lady. I'll let it go. Take my free Yu-Gi-Oh card. Don't mind if I do. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No problem. You you know you're getting over it anyways. <laughs> what the fuck? Me when I click? Yes. All right, what do we got off the top? Of course, another battle chanted locomotive, bro. Well, uh, I'm not scared of anything. Not even Nobleman Across it anymore. We'll set the Spy because it is the most powerful. And I'll set the Saku. Maybe eventually we'll use these two back row before heavying. It was probably a mistake to set this Saku. I shouldn't have did that. Oh, it worked out. Saku's getting <laughs> setting the Sakuretsu. I'll be using it. Thank you very much. Didn't even intend to, but it worked out perfect. We're called the haunting this thing? Sure. Okay. This guy's been into making really expensive plays, bro. Just utilizing the DD Warrior Lady. To banish a monster it was getting over anyways. Call of the Haunting back a dude just to get over my 2,000 defense point guy. It, life is good. Life is good. Oh, that's the iconic play. I need some lights, though. So this Magician of Faith better got and get Nobleman across at it. I also need a spell to use. Do I just heavy here? Let's just set the Battle Chanted Locomotive. This guy loves DD Warrior, bro. <laughs> what? Why him? Why him? And this is mandatory. It has to banish. Sure, absolutely, bro. The strongest Gravekeeper spies known to man. Got me a Jar of Greed off the top here. Okay, killer. Let's go flip the Dekoichi. Get a draw. Okay, cool. Upstart Goblin. I'll give my opponent a thousand life points. Now I have a good target for Magician of Faith. 
Card D. Maybe later. Let's go battle phase with the Dekoichi. 14. I'm going to set this and the Jar of Greed. Going to pass the turn. Guys, I have a question for you because I've been really thinking about it. Hmm. Ms. Lovely DD Warrior Lady. This guy's so into banishing my cards, bro. If I want to get a, the BLS on the field, I could Torrential here. Why not? Let's do it. I don't get the Magician of Faith value. It's probably fine. I just want the Light and Dark to be able to summon Big Daddy BLS. Okay, uh, now we can get some major value off of the Jar Greed plus Heavy Storm combo. I love to see it. All right, look, we gotta hope my opponent doesn't have the card Snatch Steel in their hand, and I don't believe they do. So I'm going to make my iconic play. First, I will activate my Heavy Storm. Your back row, demolished. Chaining my pot of greed, I will get one free additional card back. It is what it is. It is what it is. Not even upset about this. What else I get rid of, though? Exchange? What is this? Dark Spirit of the Silent? I'm not used to seeing this card with white text. I don't, I don't know if anybody's ever seen this card in TCG. It's got black text for some reason. The first black rare ever released to the game. I'm gonna banish a light and a dark to summon the mighty... Blackluster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. There's no reason to summon the Breaker, so let's just go Battle Phase. <laughs> you have one pathetic turn, Duelist. Make it your best. No! No! My, my opponent pitched the Mask of Remnants. Summon Sonic Bird. Oh my god. What is he playing? Relinquished? Curse of the Ma- He's playing Mass Beast? Hey, yo! I'll be summoning the Magical Warrior. Little extra boost on the guy here. He's at 1900. We'll take up any spell trap. Not worried about it. Battle phase. See ya. Alright, we know the one card in our opponent's hand. I don't think you'll be getting very far with it. And that's it. Alright, give me another playable monster off the top. Let's end this duel. Ugh. Best deck of the format, by the way. I'm pretty sure this might be a card D angle to draw into a playable monster just to win the game. A card does. Hey! Duel's over. Summon to Koichi. All right. Just as we drew it up. Best deck of the format, by the way. <laughs> definitely, definitely didn't lose the most games with this deck before. Check deck list, please. All right, we'll, we'll see what the guy was cooking. Let's see what he was playing. All right. Our opponent fuck played... How does this work? What the fuck does this do? Dude, this is literally, with no exaggeration, one of the worst decks I've ever laid eyes on. I would never steal this. It's like the reason people don't like carjack beaters. Wow, this is some shit. This is, like, really, really bad. When this format came out, when I did the Invitational with Steve and Farfa, Farfa didn't have a deck ready. He said, Gage, I need you to brew something up for me ASAP. And you know what I built him? I built him a deck that he said, I like those cards. I built him Beast Down. I don't think this deck's amazing. It's missing something important that pairs with Bazoo, which is Return from a Different Dimension and Dimension Fusion, a card that, you know, single-handedly you can load up and banish a lot of cards in your graveyard rather quick, could end the game. We don't have that luxury, so we're just going to be slamming some big fucking dudes down. We're going to hope we can get nasty and dirty with it. What do we got? The Soul Eater right at the front there. Unfortunately, I want to have him later on in the game. Change of heart. This is a very, uh, let the opponent make the first move type hand. I'm going to just set a Sakuretsu armor. Humble. Pass the turn. Excuse me? Horus's servant? Oh my god. We're just raw dogging Thousand Eyes Restrict? What is going on? What is this funny business? I got the Battle Ox. Unfortunately, with this guy on the field, no other monsters can attack or do anything. I'm just going to set the Torrential, and my opponent will summon another card. All right, Yuki, tell me I read you like a book. Go ahead and summon the Horus. Oh, what What did I tell you? What did I tell you was going to happen? I don't think that brings back that. It brings back Horus, which is fine. I will, prima I will Sakuretsu armor this one. Has to destroy a monster to be able to battle up. I could even just keep the Saku. No reason to, though. We're a face deck. I'm trying to get as much damage in as possible. Oh, man. We drew the biggest guy there is. 
Summon the gorilla. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, I am Berserk Gorilla. Ook, ook, bro, get in there. 2,000. We'll go main phase two. Back him up with a Saku. Pass the turn. Oh, the magical warrior. Stacks pretty good against Sakuretsu armor, but unfortunately defeated by the gorilla. This game, is it over? That's lethal, ain't it? Simple change of the heart battle ox. What is that? 37, 53? Game's as good as over, duelist. Sorry. I'll be summoning the battle ox. Sad that your breaker had a change of heart right now, bro. Ook! Ook! Bro, drag face! Too good! Uh, yeah, if you watch this game, take notes. Thousand Eyes Restrict, turn one. Not the greatest play. Not the best. All right, last deck that we haven't picked up yet and tried is... Well, this is one of the better ones. This is Warrior. Warrior Toolboxes utilizes Rota to be able to pick out many different cards that can serve many different purposes, hence the toolbox. We have DD Warrior Lady at 3 in this format, which is super cool because it's at 1 an actual TCG GOAT. Mystic Swordsman level 2 takes care of any face down defense position monster and doesn't trigger their flip effects. Cards like Spy and Stuff Span no chance against this guy. Blade Knight also takes care of flip effect monsters in a different way as long as he's the only monster. Um, and Dawn's Luke can start ripping from the hand. Pretty good. We also play Gravekeeper Spy in this deck because it is the most efficient GOAT format monster. 2000 defense, like I said. Not easy to deal with, normally requires two cards. Judgment's at three in this? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty fucking good. Let's queue it up. This one should be good. We should be able to get a win very quickly with this deck. Ah, uh, when do I get one of those masterful verification checks that all the pro players are getting? Anybody at Konami watching the stream? Uh, kind of need one there. 619. He's confirmed it. They don't know if it's the real me, bro. I like to feel my... Oh my god, this guy just raw dog card destruction. I think I ended up with a better hand? I don't know. I have... <laughs> I think it ended up all right. He's on some kind of burn, though. He plays, like, wave motion cannon. I don't know. Uh, this Mystic Swordsman level 2 is hopefully going to get the fuck in there. Maybe this is, like, Gravity Bind or L-Lab or something like that. He clears! My man. What did I get rid of? Des Koala! All right. Your little burn strategy is already falling apart, duelist. Don't you feel silly. I'll set two spells or traps to my spell or trap zone, and I will pass the turn. It always gets a little quiet sometimes. There's almost 300 of you guys in... Yomi ship! What am I see? I really think he's got like a gravity bind. Ooh. He's not gonna crash? No, he will. Bro, uh, come on. I I'm gonna let this go. I'm not gonna spend 4,000 life points and like give him a 4,000 life point burn thing here. God, come on! Okay, I could book a moon this, I think. I'm gonna book a moon it. Is tomorrow's episode of Prague a good one? Every episode of Progression Series is a good one, my man. Uh, strongest mystical space typhoon read of the century, hitting the solemn judgment. I, we're still fine, I think, but like, interesting that you would use it there. All right, for turn. Oh, I don't even need to cross out this. Like, I can save it for like Des Koala or something. Oh, I didn't summon. Why didn't I do that? Ah, because I was going to set. This is Gravity Bind. It's for sure Gravity Bind. Tomorrow's a new day. That is a disaster. That is a disaster. Holy shit. Oh my god, bro. What a fucking nightmare. No, my... <laughs> no, my Gravekeeper spy. Hear me out, chat. What if I snatch steal my snatch stolen Mystic Swordsman level 2? I want it. I want it. Give it to me, bro. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. I'm gonna summon the Zalug. This better not be Gravity Bind. That trap hole! What? No! That's alright, don't worry. Battle phase. Oh, shit on, bro. Nice Magician of Faith. Anyways. Ooh. Ooh. No. Oh! No! No, 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 no! Come on! No! No! Chaos Sword! I- Ow! That's- What?! No! No! What did he do?! No! No! What did he do?! <laughs> Poor guy! Oh my god! He get the worst click of the game! You can't do that in real life!
life. <laughs> what the fuck? No way. <laughs> See, I'm the only one chat that knows how to banish a light in the dark.